So I'm waiting on my kid to get out of practice and there's this. One of the surviving roommates may have heard something. And this PI says it's exculpatory evidence. That's evidence that could help clear the defendant. She's in Nevada. They subpoenaed her and said that she had to show up or face a 25 days in jail or a $500 fine. Thank goodness her attorney in Nevada said, now wait a minute, Idaho doesn't have the authority to subpoena somebody in Nevada. And they especially don't have the authority without a judge having a hearing in Nevada. Figuring out the veracity of the information that she has and how much of a burden it would be to get her up there. I guarantee you she hasn't said anything to anybody, especially a PI. And without the case file, how could they know what she heard or saw? I did learn something though in this article. I've been wondering how come they just didn't send this case to the grand jury. And I thought maybe it was different than my state. In my state, there's two courts. One of them decides things that are under 365 days and one where the penalty is more than a year. That's district and circuit court. The hearing scheduled in June is just to find probable cause, which just says, okay, yeah, I can go to circuit court. That's where the real trial would be. Why would the prosecutors even have a little mini trial just so the defense can get all the information and build a better case? Now the grand jury can ask to hear from anybody, but there's no way his defense attorney is going to let him testify. Grand juries are very one-sided. But once again, it's just to see if the prosecutor has enough probable cause to send it to circuit court. Unless there's an angle I'm not thinking about, I very much doubt there's going to be a hearing in June. And this thing probably won't go to trial until next year. That's just what I was thinking. I could be wrong.